What is up everybody, it's Dante Watson here. Today I'm going to kick off a brand new series on this channel called Tier Anything. This is going to be a series where I make tier lists of pretty much anything I feel like. Uh, I'm going to try to do this every single Tuesday. And what better thing to start off than what's like the hottest new thing that's been going on these past couple of months. I've been obsessed with it. I know a lot of the internet has to WandaVision. So today we're going to do a tier list of all the different theme songs throughout the different episodes of WandaVision. So let's start off with the very first theme song from the first episode called A Newlywood Couple. All right, there you go. That was the first theme song right there. Uh, by the way, I should note that all these songs are written by, like, they're pretty much the goats by now. Robert Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez. Robert Lopez has double E got, by the way, so he's won Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony twice already. They're the couple that wrote the music for Frozen and Coco, and they did the music for this too, so I'll just start off by saying, like, every single one of these songs are, are pretty good, so. But we gotta start off somewhere. This obviously, like, like kind of, uh, kicked off the whole show, like set a tone for the almost all the music to come, pretty much. And the, but the iconic Wanda Vision was part of this, so it's not my favorite theme song, but I still think it's pretty good. So I'm gonna put this like on a B tier. All right, that was the second theme song right there. Uh, I think it's just called WandaVision. Obviously, very like 60s inspired. It's really, really catchy. The WandaVision, what WandaVision. Obviously, from a lyrical standpoint, it's the most simplistic, but it still really works. I would put this at an A, but I don't know. It's a little bit too similar to like something like... Uh, what's the name of that Beach Boy song? Like, Help Me Rhonda? They even played in the episode, like, Help Me Rhonda, Help, Help Me Rhonda. So I might have to knock points off that, but it is really catchy, so. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep it at a B, actually. But it's almost an A, just know that it was almost an A. Come on, you can't deny that's a really good theme song right there. I might be a little biased because that's like the 70s era. I love those type of sitcoms. Brady Bunch, the theme song was more like a Partridge Family type thing. I love that theme song too. I don't know. And I think from a lyrical standpoint, it's really, really strong. I think like from like episode three on, like the theme song has a lot more like little like sly references in like the theme song itself about like the state of like Wanda and all that during the episode so this one right here I might I know people are going to disagree with me call it my bias or whatever but I'm going to have to put this on the S tier right here I think I'm pretty sure that's like the longest theme song in the show, but like a good amount too. It's like a couple, like two to three minutes long there. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. It was, it was a really good like 80s style theme song. A lot of those like, especially the end there, like the, the we got love, we got wonder vision. Those duet type 80s theme songs that you'd find in like, a show like Family Ties or Growing Pains or like even some other like 80s theme songs like what's the name of that singer Jesse Fredericks or whatever who does he did like Family Matters and like Full House theme songs but, but I think the strong point of this is like more, even more so than the music like the lyrics itself that both work for the, the 80s style theme song and like the overall like mindset of like Wanda and the characters like within Westview here like one lyric that stood out for me was Forces may try to pull us apart, but nothing can phase me when you're in my heart. Stuff like that. Like vision phasing through. 
They're literally trying to pull them like out of here and all that. They're trying to pull them apart. I think it's a pretty strong theme song. I don't think it's quite S tier, but I'll I'll definitely put on the A tier right here. All right, I love that theme song right there. I think that's this is the first like theme song to not be sung by like the same singers from like the other theme song here. I didn't know this like first going in, but when I was looking up the songs later on, I saw that Kathleen Hanna is the singer there from the band Bikini Kill, which is a band I like. So that's points just for that. But in terms of the lyrics, again, like really really strong lyrics here. Uh, don't try to fight the chaos. Don't question what you've done. Obviously reflecting on Wanda State in that episode. How she's like, like people are questioning, like, especially Vision, like, what's going on with here. Wanda just wants to forget about the past. Just wants to keep on going, even though she's causing all this chaos and whatnot. And also, like, a really smart use of, like, the same sort of, like, motif that's, like, in, like, starting from the second uh, theme song. Like, the one division, one, one division. But in this time, it's used like in the electric guitars, like din, nin, 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 throughout the whole song. Really, really good song here. Again, not quite S tier, but I will put it with the A tier next to the 80s theme song here. Alright, that one's short and sweet. I think it was like had to be like under a minute. This one's interesting in that it has no lyric whatsoever. It's purely instrumental. Like even at least like the second theme song had lyrics, even though it was just WandaVision repeated over and over. Uh, but other, but I'm not gonna take points off for for not having lyrics and just being instrumental. Uh, but it does sound a lot like you know like the Office theme song, which I'm pretty sure that's what they're going for some sort of electric theremin type version synthesizer type version of that you know but it still had some like the elements of like from like the previous like uh sitcom themes there uh i'm not sure what the term for that is but like the da -na -na -na, like that whole like like note structure or whatever like repeats here and they kind of seems like they restructured those notes like in a different order here which i think is pretty creative but overall, like, if I'm just being honest, I don't think it's, like, as good as any of the other theme songs here. But I don't know if it's, like, like a C or anything. So it might be, like, a B. But uh, it's, like, a low B. But and I killed Sparky too. <laughs> I mean, come on, who can resist that theme song? Uh, it's just way too catchy. Like from the first time I heard the song, I knew it was like it was a bop for sure. Uh, like definitely like award-winning stuff right there. Like I wouldn't be surprised if. That song gets nominated for like an Emmy and a Grammy and probably deserves to win like any award is nominated for to be honest. I love Katherine Hahn's like performance on this song. She's great as the character Agatha, but also the way that she sings it is just so perfect. Like it's perfect for the character and just just a great you know like vocal performance too. It, obviously the this theme song is based on like the Munsters theme song, which which is actually an instrumental, so it's it's interesting to see like how they add lyrics to a song like that. But it, I love the Monsters theme song, like doom doom din 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 The way they did like a new spin on that is cool, really really cool. No surprise, this is another S tier right here. So there you have it, everybody. This is my tier list for the One Division theme songs. So in the S tier here, we got uh, we got some of the cooking from episode three and Agatha all along from episode seven. On the A tier, we have making it up as we go along from episode five. And let's keep it going from episode six. Yeah, six. And on the B tier here, we have uh, Newlywed Couple from episode one, WandaVision from episode two, and WV2000 from, also from episode seven. So as you can see, like I liked all the songs a lot, actually. Like, nothing was a 
below a B tier here. Again, like the this the songwriting and the music is just top notch in the show. They got like Robert Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez. They're two like they're two time Oscar winners, so like what do you expect, you know? They're always gonna put out quality stuff. They're they're a perfect match for the show. And yeah, like like I said, this is like a new series I'm starting on my channel tier anything like i'll just make a tier list about like whatever i want like every week i'm gonna try to do this every single tuesday like who knows it might be based on movies gaming food just whatever i feel like doing you know but i wanted to start with wandavision here because that's a show i really really enjoyed it just ended last week hopefully you enjoyed this video too you know uh make sure to subscribe leave a comment down below tell me what you think about this video what do you think about this uh this tier list you can leave like any potential ideas for like any tier list I might want to do. I might look at the comments and I might do one of the things you suggest. Uh, but definitely subscribe for more gaming, movie, just whatever content, whatever I feel like doing content. So yeah, stay tuned guys.